Hi guys, in today's video I am going to be recreating some of Princess Diana's iconic looks. Princess Diana was of course a royal fashion icon in the 80s and 90s, but I feel like a lot of her outfits, especially her casual looks, can be worn today. So let's go ahead and recreate some of Diana's looks. I think I have four outfits that I was able to recreate all from things I already have in my closet, which is always a bonus. And hopefully this will give you a little bit of fashion inspo. The first outfit I have to recreate is Diana sitting in the garden. I believe this is at Highgrove. She's wearing a pink and white striped button down with white overalls and white loafers. This is the outfit that actually inspired me to make this video Video because I thought that is such a cute outfit. It's so feminine, very classic, and I could actually recreate that out of stuff I have in my wardrobe. So I have this Ralph Lauren button down Oxford shirt with the pink and white stripes. And this one is very cute. I recently got this on sale and it does have a little bit of a floral detail under the collar. I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Then I got my trusty white overalls out. Now these give a little bit of a different vibe because as you can see, they've got flares. So they always remind me of the 70s. I always feel like when I'm wearing these overalls, I'm like the fifth member of ABBA or something, which I'm very here for. Like that's actually, you know, isn't that the dream? And the only thing about these overalls with this particular outfit is they come up quite high at the top so you don't get to see as much of the Oxford shirt as you see in Diana's outfit so it gives a little bit of a different vibe. You can see a lot more of the pink in hers but I still think it works super cute. Diana is wearing white loafers. I don't have white loafers so I just thought white sneakers like that'll do and oh, I think this outfit turned out so cute. I actually love it. I want to go paint some walls in it or, or run around a, a garden at Highgrove. You know, it's just adorable and just shows a classic feminine look like this. Could be worn in the 80s or it could be worn today. Somebody give me one of those painting spongy rolly things and I'll just, I'll go paint in this outfit. The next outfit I wanted to recreate, I actually used the same shirt as in the first outfit. When I took a closer look at this outfit, I don't think it is the same shirt. It, it, I think this was about roughly 10 years later when she was doing a lot more of her humanitarian work overseas. And looking at the shirt closely, I don't actually think it's striped. I think it's solid pink, but my little pink and white stripes can totally work for this outfit. Diana has paired her classic button down with a pair of black jeans. So I popped on my black skinny jeans. Hers are more of a straight leg, but we're working with what we got. Then for the belt, I have gone for my trusty Tory Burch belt. This is actually reversible, which is super useful. It's black on one side and tan on the other. It's actually the only belt I own because it goes with everything because I can just switch it around. So I've got my black Tory Burch on and I think it looks really nice with just the subtle little gold buckle. Then Diana has black loafers on. So I did pop on my black ballet flats and I'm kind of obsessed with how this outfit turned out. I really like it. I always love a pink and black combo because you get the chicness of the black, the, the I mean business of the black, but then the pink always gives a really nice feminine touch and black and pink just, I don't know, they just always look good together in my eyes. And then also, I just think this is a very classic and balanced outfit. It's casual enough, but it's also workwear appropriate enough. It is a really nice balance. Diana knew what she was doing. Okay. Outfit number three, I have gone for full on Sloan Ranger Diana. This is a very famous photograph that was taken on Charles and Diana's. I don't know if it was their honeymoon, like if they called it a honeymoon, but I believe it was their first official photo call at Balmoral after they were married. Diana had one of the most classic colors of hunter boots that is the green, the hunter green color. Also black is a very classic color. I went a little bit out there with my hunter boots and decided to go for a red. This is actually autumn stone red, I believe is the color. I've done my best trying to recreate this outfit from stuff that I already own. So I've got my red hunter boots on, my little jodhpur pants. And then for the top section of this outfit, this is where I came a little bit unstuck because Diana's sweater is it's very specific and is very intense. And I don't have anything like that. 
But what I do have is this jumper here. So my mum gave this to me a long time ago now. I can't even remember how long ago. And then she can't even remember how long she's had it or where she got it from. So this is this is an OG. The brand of it is Tolchin or Tolcan. And the, I couldn't actually find that much about it, about this brand on the internet, apart from that they were founded in 1984 in the Lake District in England. So I'm assuming mom probably got it on a trip over to England at some point. I think that this little 80s embroidered knitwear number is totally something Diana would have worn. She would have loved something like this. I could totally see her picking this off the rack. I am going to incorporate it into my Sloan Ranger outfit. I popped a white turtleneck underneath because Diana had a turtleneck underneath her jumper. And when Diana wears army pants and flip flops, I'm gonna wear army pants and flip flops. And then because Diana's sweater was a bit shorter than the one I have. This one's a bit longer and hers sort of hit at the waist. I did ye old belt trick where you put a belt around your waist and then you can sort of tuck the sweater up underneath and it sits there and it gives the illusion that the sweater is shorter. I wasn't sure how this outfit was going to turn out, whether I would be able to recreate it, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I think it's a nice little recreation. It's a bit Christmassy, isn't it? Okay, the next outfit is a little bit silly, but I just had to do it. I had to recreate one of Diana's iconic 90s workout outfits. In the 90s, when Diana was leaving the gym, there would always be paparazzi following her, which is terrible, but there would always snapshots of her in various forms of this outfit. She had a uniform, a gym uniform that she would leave the gym in. She had a bike shorts, a large oversized sweatshirt, and normally had some kind of something on the front, like embroidery or a university. I think she had like a Northwestern sweatshirt, some kind of massive oversized varsity sweatshirt. Then her white sneakers and her gym socks. Also, normally she had sunglasses, her car keys in her mouth, and some sort of tote bag that just did not match the outfit, but vibes we're here for it and she wore so many versions of this outfit this outfit has been recreated in magazines over time it truly is iconic i know i say stuff is iconic on my channel a lot I'm like that's iconic in that but truly diana princess diana leaving the gym iconic outfit in history in time so i had to go ahead and recreate it and i recreated it out of my sister Pia's wardrobe pretty much. So this is a massive sweatshirt and I believe she got this at Brandy Melville. And then some cute little pink bike shorts, athletic socks and my Adidas sneakers. I'll try and find the style of these sneakers and link them down below like the style code because these are so comfortable. These are my errand running sneakers. I always put them on when I'm going to the supermarket or something because they're very, very comfortable. And yes, this outfit, it's definitely a very successful recreation. And there are my recreations of Princess Diana outfits. If you enjoyed this video, I have a whole playlist of royal fashion videos that you might like to watch next. So I'll leave a card up here somewhere and a link in the description box so you can watch that next if you're into that. Please remember to like this video. I'm always really appreciative of the likes believe me and then also subscribe to my channel if you want to thank you so much for watching today and i will see you next week in my next video bye bye